Hello dear kids, welcome you all at Padai Ke Fun Day. In your previous class, you may have studied about the types of fiber that are natural and synthetic. And natural fibers are also of two types that are plant fibers and animal fiber. So today we are going to study about a type of animal fiber that is wool. You all are familiar with this word wool. That is, we wear woolen clothes in winter. Variety of woolen clothes is made up of wool, that is sweater, socks, muffler, cap, hand gloves, etc. We get wool from an animal fiber, which we obtain from the fleece of the animals, like sheep, goat, yak, etc. It is taken from the fleece of some other animals also, that is Kashmiri goat, alpaca, llama, camel, angora rabbit, etc. Wool is mostly obtained from the fleece of sheep. A sheep's hairy skin has two types of fiber, that is the coarse breed hairs and the soft under hairs. So based on the quality of their hairs, they are used for various purposes. There are different variety of sheep that provide us wool and the quality of wool differ from breed to breed that the merino breed of sheep provide us the finest wool which is soft and light. Somebody someone may have told you like about your characteristic that is maybe your appearance or something else as your nose is like your mother your hairs are like your father, your voice is like your grandparent or any other. That means simply that our characters can match from any of your parent. So that similarly the offspring of sheep will also have the characters means like the types and the quality of the hair same as their parent. So for that purpose the parents are selected for obtaining the special characteristic of the offspring. The process of selecting the parents for this is known as selective breeding so that they can obtain the required quality of hairs. Australia is the leading producer of the wool in the world. Except sheep, we get it from camel, alpaca, llama, especially in the South America. Yak wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Kashmiri wool fibers are obtained from Kashmiri goat. The under hair of Kashmiri goat are used to make the very fine shawl. It is famous worldwide with the name Pashmina shawl. And the Angora rabbit also produce a kind of wool which is very fine quality and it is very expensive also. That is because, because of the size of the rabbit as it is very small. So each rabbit produce very small amount of wool. So it's very expensive. Other than these animal, an animal named Chiru which is found in Tibet, it is also used to get very fine quality of wool. The wool named as Shehtush. It is called as the king of the fine wool. To obtain this, Chiru are hunted and killed as their hairs are very delicate. So, as a result, the population of Chiru has decreased. So, to stop their hunting, the government has banned the use and selling of the shawls which are made up of shehtush. Now let us discuss about the procedure to be followed to obtain woolen fabric from these wool fibers. The processing of wool is followed by these six steps that is shearing, scoring, grading and sorting, dyeing and drying, spinning, then at last weaving or netting. So first of all in order to get woolen fabric the animals are sheared that is their hairs are removed. 
So, the process of removing fleas from the sheep's body along with a thin layer of skin is known as shearing. It is done manually using scissor or razor machine. When they take out the fleas, then they used to take out a thin layer of skin, skin also. The process doesn't hurt the animal. That is because the topmost layer of their skin is the dead skin. So they do not get hurt. It is done once in a year, especially in the summer season. That is because the fleas give protection to animal in winter. They keep them warm so that in summers it is being removed when it is not required for them and by the winter their hairs grows again. After shearing, the second step is scoring. As the fleece of the animal contain lots of dust, dirt, grease and other impurities also. So they need to be washed. So in second step, we use to wash them. The process known as scoring. After scoring, when they get dry, then they fi these fibers need to be classified based on their length, color and texture. As the types of hair from different parts of the animal body have different types. That some may have rough, some may have very soft, some are very long or short. So they are graded, they are sorted, means they are classified into different group based on their length, color, texture, etc. After doing this sorting burn, then the fibers are sent for straightening. For this purpose, machines contain metal teeth, comb-like things are used. Through this machine, when these fibers pass, then they get straightened and the process is known as carding. When the fibers get straightened, after then they are sent for spinning. It is done by machine. In spinning, number of fibers are taken together and they are twisted to make them longer and stronger. So the process of obtaining yarn from the fiber is known as spinning. As we get these yarn of white, brown, gray or black colors mainly, but the woolen cloth we get of variety of color in the market. That is because they are dyed. So after spinning, the Yarn is tied into various color and then they are left for the proper drying. When they get dried, then the wool is ready to be woven or spun. So that after weaving or knitting process, we get woolen fabric. Weaving is the process in which two or more than two sets of yarn is used together to make fabric. And in knitting, a single yarn is used to make the whole fabric. This is the difference between weaving or knitting. So then in this process, by this process, we get woolen fabric with us. The process of making wool is harmful for the people working in woolen industry. That is because the people who do the work of sorting of the fiber they come in the direct contact of the fleas so as their fleas contain bacteria named anthrax bacteria so the people who do this sorting job they suffer from sorter's disease it is also called anthrax by this their skin get infected and they get these kind of skin problem as shown in picture the bacteria behind it named as anthrax bacteria. So hope the process of obtaining wool is clear to you all. So don't forget to like the video. Leave your precious comment in the comment box. Share it as much you can and subscribe our channel Padai Ke Fande. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get timely updates. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.